We're transforming Dad's Winchester Model 1220 gauge into a youth model for the grandkids. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. We're going to start the finishing process by sanding the stock and fore end. Earlier, we filed off the pistol grip to convert it to a straight grip design. Next, we shortened the stock and installed the recoil pad. Then we carefully reshaped the stock for feel and appearance, and we rounded the fore end. 100 grit cloth backed abrasive is where I normally start. I'm wrapping it around a small piece of wood. This is called a sanding block. And also notice, I'm always sanding with the grain of the wood, not across it. I sand right over the recoil pad, but hardly touch the head of the stock. Now let's sand the fore end, and then we can raise the grain. Now we need to raise the grain. This is a simple process of wetting the surface of the wood, then drying it before the next sanding. I'll sand it again with 150 and then 220 grit, raising the grain after each sanding. Then we'll be ready to apply the sealer. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and that's the way it is.